the wildfire rages on. You'll see at the end of the video, it's gotten pretty big. It's like calming down a little bit every night. And then once the sun starts beating down on that dry, dry land, the fire just takes over. And I'm sure the wind has quite a bit to do with it. Maybe it's not as windy as at night, but something happened today and it is smoking like I've never seen before. I've never seen something like this. It's a whole wildfire going on right across the valley. It's been going on for about a week apparently, and I don't really know what to make of it. There seems to be no sign that this is going to stop, and quite soon it might cause some trouble to the nearby villages. And these are villages, it's not like uh, cities or anything. This is rural Europe. We got a lot of mountain villages here in Bulgaria, and it could be a lot of trouble for a lot of people. If this fire doesn't stop, we don't get much rain, and this could be pretty bad. I mean, these trees were planted over there like 60 years ago, and it was a, a big communist thing. Plant the trees, recover the forests. Now it's all burning down. It's all burning down. These are some tall trees. I'm talking 100 foot tall pines. And it's good wood. It's perfect wood. Just burning away, smoking, burning. It's a tragedy, actually. There's no sign of it stopping anytime soon. There's no sign of any help coming. Maybe the rain will put it out if we get some. That's what I'm hoping for. This has had me reflecting on my own life quite a bit. I remember hearing a story by Paul Stamets, uh, the mushroom guy. It's not so much a story as, as like an interesting little fact. There's some kind of mushroom where when you hollow it out or you like uh, open it up, it's quite insulated and you can actually carry around the embers of a fire. You could carry around hot coals or charcoals inside and have them hot for multiple days on end, maybe up to a week. And you just stoke the fire. You add a little fuel, you, you know, give it some air, some oxygen, and the fire keeps burning. The embers keep burning, they stay hot. And even in times of uh, wetness, uh, what would you call that? Uh, like a rain season or whatever, you could have access to embers because that's really the hardest thing to do when it's wet outside, when it's humid and moist, is getting those embers started. Once you get some embers, you could light a fire. Even with, with some slightly moist materials, you could get a fire going. But if you don't have those embers, it's real tough. So I've just been thinking about my own life and, you know, I'm past 400 days here on squat every day and it's still going every day. I'm just stoking that flame little by little. I'm just giving it a little bit of air, letting it breathe, letting it burn, letting that passion continue to consume me in a way. I've fallen in love doing this thing, training every single day. Today, my legs are achy just because of all those calf raises I've done. I did another 500 more so far. I'm probably gonna do another 500 before the day ends. And somehow I've been able to keep that fire going day by day, stoking that flame, keeping those embers hot. And all it took was just one day. One day, day one, I started that fire going. I started that fire and it doesn't always blaze like an inferno. It doesn't always burn hot. Sometimes I just have some tiny little embers that are still just going. Some days are real hard to make it through. Today, I didn't do much. I'm fasting, uh, my dad got sick. Uh, he, it seems he got food poisoning, potentially from something I cooked. So that feels pretty bad to me. And, you know, obviously for him, it's pretty bad. 
but he, he's feeling a lot better now. Uh, he was pretty bad this morning, but he's gotten much better. He's just resting right now, recovering. And I didn't do much. I did 25 dips on the rings. I had a lot of trouble with those, actually. I tried to go for a, a AMRAP, as many reps as possible. I only got six, and that feels pretty bad. I'm just so unstable. Once I get past five reps, I know I still have the strength to do more, but I just, uh, I don't have those other muscles to keep myself stable on the rings. I just lose control and I gotta work on that. But it all comes day by day. I did 25 squats today. My knee feels a little better than it did yesterday. And you know, I'm looking on the bright side, looking at the little things because these little details matter. I don't want to miss a single day of this. It's my life. I'm fully invested in it. I hope you're invested in your life. I hope you have had a wonderful day. And I will be back with some more squats tomorrow. Thank you for watching.